So let's go over the deep front line and how to release this. We're going to take a motion specific release perspective on releasing this line. And when I'm referring to the deep front line, I'm referring to everything from the bottom of the foot right to the top of the head. So numerous structures. We're talking about the quadratus plantae in the bottom of the foot. Underneath the calf muscles here, we're talking about Tom, Dick, and Harry, which is basically the flexor helicus longus, the tibialis posterior, and the flexor digitorum longus. Then we're going to move on to the inside of the thigh here, which is the adductors. So the adductor magnus, adductor longus, getting up in the pelvis, pectineus, and just trying to get some mobility in the hip here. As we start to move up through this area here, we also want to make sure that we actually affect the whole cylinder of the diaphragm. So the lower part, and we'll start getting into some of the structures, basically that will affect the pelvic floor. We'll also get into working the lower abdominal region, moving up and getting on to the psoas muscle, your hip flexors, going on the side, quadratus lumborum, upper part of the diaphragm, and because the deep front line actually affects the heart with the pericardium around the heart, as we're going on these structures, it actually will affect circulatory function. Then we'll move up farther on and start working on structures around the neck because it actually surrounds the trachea and muscles above and below the hyoid bone. And then eventually we'll work our way up into the jaw, the master muscle, and the temporalis. So, let's get to work. So let's start out with the bottom of the foot. I'm going to get on the quadratus plantae. So basically working my way around the bottom of the foot there. How's that going there? That's good. No problem there? No. Okay. <laughs> working around. And then Mickey, I'm going to get you to turn over and go up on your knees, please, facing forward here. So feet over the edge of the table. Good. And then we're going to kind of work around here. When you do this, basically the muscles on the outside, the gastroc and soleus, more superficial muscles, loosen up so I can get on the deeper structures in terms of Tom, Dick, and Harry. So let's bring this in here. Right. How's that feeling? That's, a little hard. That's pretty intense, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, as we're going along, you now bring your foot in, we'll create tension, a little bit of torsion. Oh. Good. And a little bit of shear stress on that. Excellent. Good. Now let's have you lie on your back, please. So from here, we'll move up and we'll actually get on the adductors. How are we doing there? It's good. Same thing. We're creating some tension. A little bit of torsion. Not too intense? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Bring this in. Fairly loose hand. Getting up around the pectineus. Down. This part's going to be pretty intense here. You okay? Yeah. Okay. We're working a little bit of circumduction here. Take it up. You okay? Yeah. Good. Excellent. Good. Now bring your knees in, please. Lower part. Bring this down. I'm going to scoop underneath here. Take the legs out. Right down. Flex your feet. Dorsi flex a little bit. And back up again. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Take it down. Good. Back up again. Take it down. Excellent. Now let's turn on your side, facing over. Bring one arm up in here. This leg back in here. Bend your knee. Take it back. And let's just get on the psoas here. Bring it back a bit. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'll certainly will feel that. Good. Of course, we'll be working on the rectus abdominis, the psoas, and we're also going to affect the internal and external obliques. Good. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, now bring this leg forward, <laughs> over here. There's no washer there. <laughs> Take us up here. Bring this down here, and I'm going to get onto the quadratus lumborum. Bend this down. Let your elbow bend. There we go. How are you doing there? Oh, that's nice. So I'm just kind of wrapping my hand around, doing a bit of tension there. When I get here and I start to actually go, put a little bit of torsion in there. You okay? Yeah. Bring it down and hold. Again, bring it over and hold. Now, let's have you lie on your back, please. Bring both arms up. Good. Get on the diaphragm. As you take a deep breath in, okay, bring your arms back. Good. And back up. So of course as Mickey breathes in, the diaphragm moves down. I'm just going to stretch it out there. You okay? Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, the deep line also surrounds the heart or the pericardium. So this is actually affecting circulatory function of the heart. Very, very powerful technique. Good. 
Okay, come on up here, sitting forward. Now we're starting to get the muscles around the neck here. Now, we want to make sure that we don't get too aggressive here because the longest coli, the deep muscles, the muscles that surround the hyoid bone above and below, we can't get too aggressive. Now, springs back. How are we doing there? That's nice. That's pretty gentle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. And of course, with the deep front line, after we move up to the neck, we have to get on the jaw a little bit. So I'll just go on the master here and open the mouth. Good. And again. How are we doing there? Good. Good, good. <laughs> All right. Kind of like a waiter asking how the food is in the middle of the meal. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to move up to the temporalis. Again, open mouth. This way. And take it down. Feel that quite a bit? Mm -hmm. And down. Right down. Good, excellent. Of course, as we're working through the deep front line, we're going to work both sides of the body, but this is a great way of just opening up all the different structures. And we often combine this with working the other lines too, but a very powerful motion-specific release technique.